Well, I have it. I guess it's a good guitar to do it with. Yeah. I'll take you through my pedals. Sure. <laughs> So I got yeah, an MXR boost right here. Okay, a, yeah, yes, you know, so that so you're just running quarter inch straight into looks like a Dunlop uh, volume. Is that right? Yeah, and I, I don't have much use for the volume other than just killing the signal when I need to. Sure. Uh, yeah, and it goes to your tuner too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then so from there you're going into the. MXR booster? Yeah, booster here, um, which we just put back on the board. It's just really great if you just need that little extra leap to get you where you're going. Uh. Just a, basically a clean boost to just boost the signal entirely. Yeah, um, yeah, and yeah. it seems like it gives you a little like mid range punch or it does, something yeah. there that. Absolutely. Um, what else we got here? So, Tube Screamer. It's like a safety blanket, it's, it's my security blanket. <laughs> I never leave the house without one. Um. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that bridge pickup really squawks. Man. Yeah. Um, so, Tube Screamer, can't go wrong. It's just TS9 right off the shelf. Uh, you can get it at your local music store. <laughs> um, what else I got on there? So, I got my Echoplex. My actual Echoplex is uh, somewhere in Nashville. I don't know where I left that. Oh, so missing to, gear. Yeah. I need to find that. It'll show up <laughs> or it, it won't. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's in a storage locker somewhere, but uh, it was getting repaired last I heard. But I got this little Echoplex. And it's great, you know, when we do songs like uh, Beautiful Stranger, uh, you know, just get to... That sounds great. So do yeah. you always keep it on that kind of slap sound? Yeah, I keep it just a little yeah. slappy. And like when I'm using an Echoplex, like the real one, I usually use it just to make it sound crazy. Sure, yeah. Because, I mean, every now and again, we just like we just like to go fully avant-garde and just let, you know, have a musical soundscape, <clears throat> which brings me to my next pedal. Yeah. Um, so a couple of years ago, I was playing uh, like a backyard event and uh, this kid let me use his pedal board and um, he had like pre-settings like uh, laminated and labeled on the pedal board for like what sound he wanted to go and one pedal just said space <laughs> i was like well, i gotta have some of that i don't know <laughs> i don't know what that's gonna do but basically what he had done he had just taken a reverb pedal and just cranked it all the way to 10 and uh, so that's what i do with that because i mean i've got reverb uh, i got a reverb tank on one of these oranges and I've also got the reverb tank and the you know GFL so I don't really need like actual reverb so I just use it for this kind of effect here if you just want to get wow. weird we just like to get weird so that's just the MXR uh, verb. That's yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah, I mean, out of good. context, it's a little strange, but I mean, we're all a little strange. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that's what I loved about seeing like those Carter videos of you in that three piece. It was like it got so far out there yeah. in that little in store jam. I love well, that. Yeah, we had a good time doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we were the first like live band in there yeah because i've seen you do do like acoustic things or or things just duo things yeah there as well but right. to hear it in hear your full band or your three-piece in full flight that was yeah. great man yeah man jack ryan my drummer and stephen campbell they're two of the baddest mothers walking the face of the <laughs> earth so when you got them behind you i mean it's really you can't go wrong man. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is a that is a deep pocket, man. Yeah. What else we got on here? So this tremolo is really great. Yeah, um, who makes that? So I was first, you know, I'm a window shopper. I mean, like a lot of us, I saw this pedal. I was like, well, that is beautiful. Uh, the first pedal I saw his was just this big orange soapbox. He calls it the color driver. Um, and um, he bases all of these off of like actual pedals from the 60s and they just have that really great mid-century look to them and yeah um the color drivers going on right now i actually replaced this with the the two-face which is uh it's called a two-face because it's got a 69 fuzz face and a 70 version of the fuzz face so you kind of can switch between the two of them and that's the same same yeah. builder same builder true fire okay. at a main area our boy teddy <laughs> Let's get that yeah. some more fuzz. Oh yeah, that sounds great. 69. When you're going to take it to Baker Street, baby, you yeah. got to use True Fire. <laughs> That's um, great. But I mean, hell, just, just a great pedal, dude. Yeah. Is that the Dunlop Rotovibe? Yep, that sure is, man. I got all Dunlop and True Fi and the Tube Screamer. Oh, that's but, great. <clears throat> yeah, this uh, Rotovibe is killer, man. I love it. And uh, the MXR yeah, Phase 100, the newer version of it. And the only thing I could tell different about it is the the light indicator, which is fun to have, because uh, before there was only one way to really find out if your face pedal was on. <laughs> yeah. Yep, she's on, but um, yeah. yeah, great pedal. Got some Got tremolo from Trufa. God, that sounds great. Yeah. Last thing I got my Schofield in a box, just a MXR chorus pedal. And, uh, Schofield always did have like that high intensity of that. It's yeah, such a. It's a really cool sound. I mean, yeah. it's like a Leslie, but it's uh, yeah. it's a little different, a little, you know. Yeah, you see it played with Miles with that crazy tone behind yeah. it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's so heavy.